That control board. Dr. Sutter, you're not going to let that thing out again, are you? Certainly. There's work to be done of it. Might get away like it did last time. I created it. I can control it or destroy it as I can you. You whom I have escaped from prison. I control both quickly. Good it is. The cops will never let anything like that walk down the street. What could the police or anybody do against an army like them? She knows only a small part of it. Well, I did so only because he was working along lines contrary to the good of mankind. I know. He's still in. I hope I can stop him before it's too late. I hate to have you face him alone. Oh, I don't fear him. I think he really cares for me. As much as he can't care for anyone. Except himself. You're not going to tell her about the new element you discovered, are you? Only enough to prove. I have accomplished what they told me was impossible. Get me one of the magnetized discs. But if you're determined to face him alone, I'll wait in there. But won't your wife think that I think? state of suspended animation that couldn't be told from death, and that I could find it. They called me a dreamer, a fool, but now I have it. And you shall see and tell them. Come. You see this disc? Watch. I have put there by the plan. That disc there is magnetized by a positive ray with my new element which is unknown to science. And this little spider carries the negative. When the two meet, you shall see. the same circumstances. It's too bad that Mallory is not here to see my trial. I have seen it. You! You were spying! Call it that if you wish, Alex. But you made no secret of it. Now my fear is, what are you going to do with it? I shall do with it as I wish. Not hand it over to the government, as you would have me. I still think that would be best. It should be under control for the good of mankind. You would still receive credit for its discovery. They would destroy it if they could. But possibly... Never will I let it go. Already a part of government had offered me millions. Perhaps I shall sell to them 
Don't you realize what a terrific weapon it would be in the hands of unscrupulous people? Of course. That is why they shall pay me dearly for it. Alex, you must not. Then it is my duty to inform the government at once. Alex, please! All right. If it is your duty, do so by all means. But you will find it a great mistake. What do you mean? <laughs> you shall soon learn. All of you. I am. Monk! Monk! Get the division ladder. Did you carry out my instructions regarding the work to be done on this? Yes, sir. I strengthened the ionizer, but I was afraid to use it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> They think they know everything that I have. But they know nothing of this divisualizer that will conceal me from my enemies. I'll stay here tonight. Perhaps I can see him again. I'm persuaded from his mad course. And I'll get in touch with the government. I've already talked with Captain West of the War Department about Alex. They won't punish him, will they? No, Anne. They'll just keep him and what he has found under control so that he can't misuse it or dispose of it to a country that would. Can you come back? Surely. I must come back. And now, as the Phantom, there is nothing that I cannot do. Probably Mallory. Morning, oh, Anne. I'm so glad you got here. Captain West arrived yet? No, how could he? He's flying down, so I was a little surprised to find him here. That must be Bob West. It's a government plane. They are closing in. And they will find nothing. I have to change my appearance. Maybe you'd better stay here and keep an eye on the plane, Jim. Okay. Captain West, is it true that Dr. Zork has disappeared? Well, do you think it's fair for you to know my name and I don't know yours? Oh, I'm Jean Drew. Well, what are you doing here? The time sent me. Too low, we can less than an asked question. Sorry, but I'm not allowed to answer any questions. Do you mind if I go up the house with you? Yes, I'd mind very much. You and I better take a little walk, sister. I don't believe I've met you. Miss Drew, allow me to present Mr. Jim Daly. We find him very good company. Uh. 
what you say, Dr. Zucker has discovered something very important. I'm sure he has. Highly dangerous, too. Think what a hostile power could do with it. Have you uh, made any search for it? No, we thought we'd better wait till you got here. Well, let's look in his laboratory. Aren't you going to take that disc? I'll, uh, I'll get it later. I'd hate to have one of those spiders find it in my pocket. Fools! Fools! Let them search. They will find nothing. equipment seems to have been moved. You can talk to Rankin of aspiring. I will be with you, but unseen. Husband smokes a popular brand. But he doesn't. He can't stand tobacco. Well, how about his assistant? He hadn't. She's right. So far as we know, Zorka worked alone. The division I have Then we will go. We must be more careful than ever that no one discovers the entrance of our secret garage. Let's go. Well, I'll phone headquarters and have his description broadcast. He'll be picked up somewhere, that is, if he still answers his own description. All clear? Yes. Then we will go to meet the agent of the spying. When last seen, he wore striped trousers, dark foreign hand tie, and cutaway coat. No car that we know of, but it would take one to carry the things that are missing in this laboratory. Yes, that's right. Put this on the cell type right away, will you? Pick up that man! What do you mean? Give him a ride? Yes! He looks as I used to. He might be useful to me. Everything. We will make it seem that it is the famous Dr. Zorka who has been killed. Then we will get another car, go home, and see what they are doing there. West speaking. Right, I've got it. We'll fly right down there. In a car found, wrecked and burned on Highway 10, 50 miles north of here. The body in it. The contents of the pockets indicated to Dr. Zorka. Identification is important. You go with it? You're asking too much, Captain West, after such a shock. I'll go. I must know. It was Alex. Warm up the plane, will you, Jim? Whenever you're ready, Mrs. Zorka. wife to identify the body we left at the car. She will know it is not mine. Can't you stop them by? She is one of my discs and she does not know it. I have just time enough to put that spider into her plane. She will go into suspended animation so that she cannot identify the dead man. Then I will take her from them and revive her. Now get the car ready, quick. We have to be there as soon as the plane arrives. It shouldn't take long. 
I'll check the lab equipment and try to figure out just what's missing. Bye. Goodbye. Something the matter with that door? I'm sure I shut it. Doesn't look to me as if you're dead. This wasn't in my bag when I left the house. That's the same kind of disc that was found under the plant. The one the spider went to. Are you certain it wasn't in your bag before? Positive. Hey, let me see it, will you? I haven't seen one of those things yet. Hold on, will you, Jim? I want to send it back to the department. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as sort of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. Tell me, from where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Jorka was going? None whatever. <laughs> Damn, what's happened? One moment, madam. Bunk. Help her down. Our plane crashed. What plane? Who was in it? It was a government plane. Two men and another woman. I'm, I'm a reporter. I got to get to that wreck. Come. I'm a doctor. I will take you there. Okay, buddy. There's an ambulance on the way. I'll make another complete report later. Yes, 30 people away. All right, get back. Get back. Come on. Wait a minute. I'm a physician. Okay, sir. My paper would like an official statement from you. What were you doing in that plane? Following you to get a story. What do you make of him, Doctor? I find no bodily injuries. The man seemed to be in a coma. That's right. He collapsed suddenly at the control. The ambulance is coming. Take this girl away. Come on, lady. Captain West, I want to know the connection between this plane crash and Dr. Zorka's death. Now, unless you tell All me... All right, I'm... arrest her. Leave go of me. You can't arrest me without a charge. The was towing away in a government plane. Come on. You can't do this to me. No, I can't, but he can.
really dead. You knew that, Doctor. You saw her. Mallory. And all the so-called scientists who drove me into hiding, they are responsible for her death. They shall pay. Forget it, Doc. You can sell out the Rankin and his crowd for millions and get out of the country. No. Send this message in code to all our allied foreign operators. As a disguise for our spying operations, all code messages henceforth will be sent from our International School of Languages. Well, did you get Zorka's formula? The G-Man placed a guard around Zorka's house. We haven't been able to enter. Well, you've got to get in. Or find Zorka's assistant monk. I'm about to broadcast a recording to our friends in Europe, informing them of Zorka's death. It is necessary to share a very vital secret and knowledge with you. The hiding place of the source of all my power. The source? Yes. The day goes in. During my absence, you would be able to remove it to a safer place. There is power enough to seize or destroy the world. And only I, I know how to release and control it. It would be fatal to open it, unless in the presence of these protective fumes I discovered. Where, where did it come from? It's part of a meteorite that fell in Africa centuries ago. Years of research led me to the belief that some great force akin to radium lay buried there. I organized a secret expedition, attended only by ignorant natives. It took me three years to find the place the meteorite fell. I suffered untold torture before I found a way to insulate myself from the magnetic and chemical activity of the element contained in the meteorite. I risked my health, my life to get it, and to compound with it another force of my own discovery that made it the greatest power on Earth. Now why shouldn't I use it as I wish, even to conquer the world? So remember, it is ever necessary for you to move that box. Do not open it. It will mean death, disaster. You will remain here on guard. Pulse is increasing, getting stronger with every beat. You passed out because you had the disc that was planted on Anzirka. Who'd want to destroy her? I don't know. Can I take this along to Zorka's laboratory? It might lead to something. Certainly. I'll attempt an analysis of what is on that disk. It might lead directly to Zorka's secret. Good luck. Come Go on. Along. Mallory's handed over the from the Zorka disk. Well, I hope you can get enough other information so that we can crack this case wide open. Yeah, before it cracks us. Now, if I can just get this formula, 
properly recorded. We always have to get here just as the sun is setting. Those long shadows get on your nerves, eh, Jim? I hope to tell you around this place. Well, let's see what this can find for. Uh, watch out for spiders. Needle almost jumped off the dial here. Must be another disc around. Close. No, not so strong here. just as well after what happened to that neometer. Hey, Bob. I wonder what's the matter with this car. The engine stopped running. Plenty of gas. Hey, Bob, look! Run it down great. Keep it rolling. Before we all get blown to bits. license number? I sure did. 130,000 volts. That's what wrecked us when I pulled that gadget on the box. Oh, that was a close one. 
I better see if the box is still there. And I'm going after that guy we picked up in Zorka's lab. Well, this is no time for a manhunt. It's more important we get that mystery box to the federal lab for an analysis. Blow up the whole city? I guess you're right. We'll take it to Dr. Mallory's house. We'll be safer there. Okay. Hey, Dr. Mallory, what are you doing? survivors. The box is still here. guy get away. He's one of the spy rings. The police will catch him. He can't get far with that bullet. Say, <laughs> what's going on here? You pull a thunder, electrocute yourself? Who's driving that car? Take it easy. Okay, Captain West. You have to get to Dr. Mallory right away. Special business. I'll give you a lift. All right, thanks. I'll tell you all about it on the way. You're lying. I left you on guard and you betrayed me. You've sold the source of my power to my enemies. No, I swear it. And why did you remove that box from the secret vault? I heard voices. I thought strangers were coming to steal it. I shall show you what happens to those who cross me. Not a thing! Painless surgery. This 
In a thousand grades of power that are possible with the secret element. And now the source of it is gone. But they shall not keep it. No government shall possess my power. I know where Bob is to stake in my meteor. But I can't go with you. They know me now. If I'm taken, they'll throw me back into Alcatraz. You can make yourself invisible. The Phantom will continue to protect you. According to this neometer, we are close to my element. No mistake about it. I was alone in that laboratory with the guard. He collapsed, and while I was trying to see what had happened to him, the meteorite disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? It was gone. And the door, which had been locked on the outside, was open. I guess I'd better run over and look that place over. I'll see you at Zorka's later. Have you any idea how the meteorite was removed, Doctor? None that will hold water. It was physically impossible for anyone to enter that room without my seeing him. Beg your pardon, sir, but you know Dr. Zurka was a very evil man. So it might persist even after the death of the body and return to continue its, uh, shall we say, uh, perfidious work. Ghosts don't carry heavy boxes around, Perkins. Say, hey, suppose Zurka isn't dead. But if he were alive, he would be seen and... Not necessarily. One thing Zorka hoped to do was to perfect what he called a visualizer. Oh, that's impossible. In the scientific world, nothing is impossible. Just as there are sound waves pitched too high or too low for the human ear, so there are light waves too intense for the human eye that might be directed to envelop the human body and make it invisible. Now that you have it again, we'd both better get out of here. The G-men are guarding the place. If they find this secret room... If they do, I have means of dealing with them. Here. This little device contains an invisible gas. Did you get the plan they asked you for? Yes, sir. Put it on the table. Yes, sir. This is the first step. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to the plant. And the second step is my Z-ray. Any living thing impregnated with this invisible gas dies on the Z-ray. You mean that human beings? Oh, a man first would go into deep coma. And then, that would stop one or two men, but more would keep coming. You seem to forget our iron man. Huh. 
We're going to inspect the house. When Lieutenant Daly arrives, send him in. Keep everyone else out. Someone's coming, Doctor. Close the ball. inside the house. All right, keep this woman here. Say, wait a minute. I've got to get in there. I've got to write Keep her here if you have to tie her. and the DNA will take care of him and the others. Get them. Look, a spider bit him. 
be in a criminal state if that were so. If you kill them, the police will trace them here. You can escape with your shadow belt, but I'll be done for it. Just send me back to Alcatraz. That is where you belong. and then salute. Dream that Iron Man. He knew what he was talking about, all right. I am free, Dr. Zucker. I am stronger than you now. Stronger than the police. You'll never make a slave out of me again. <laughs> Bit if Dr. Zorka did have some kind of mechanical man hidden here. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's get him over to Dr. Mallory right away. You traitor. You didn't know that you too had been sprayed with my invisible gas. Get up on your feet. belong to me. You can never escape me. Go! Get him to Mallory's. I'll follow in my car. What your treachery has cost me? They'll come back. They know what you have here. They'll ransack the place and find me. They will not find you nor my meteorite. It's changing headquarters today. Go and prepare for all my insulation materials. Yeah, he's not suspended animation, only a slight concussion. He'll be all right in a little while. an office near the Department of Military Intelligence. I shall operate as Dr. Zane. I found just the kind of office you want. Has it a good boy to protect my meteorite? Yeah, and it's on the same floor of the International School of Languages. Oh, the language school. The spies headquarters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good. I can keep an eye on them also. We will move in at once. We must insulate our new ball so that my meteorite shall be just as safe here as it was in my secret laboratory. Come.
perfect insulation. Enough to protect my most powerful devices. Report just came in from the chemist. This, he says, is a neometer. An instrument that reacts in the presence of magnetized or radiated substances. Say, that's just the thing we need to locate Dr. Zorka's mysterious box. Exactly. Hold on a minute. This needle is going a mile a minute. Going to the door. Smoke's in there. We better mask before we go in. Monk? You must have entirely moved by morning. Monk. Who do you want? It ain't Monk. Whoever it is, he's got the stuff we're after. Come on, I'll spill it. Where's that box? I don't know what you're talking about. That's a pretty good disguise, Monk. But you're gonna tell us where that box is hidden. I, I don't know. You're lying. Look at this neometer. Monk! Monk! Monk, where are you? Now you get going. I'll lock this guy and Monk in the vault till we can get back. Let, let me out. Let me. Doctor. Doctor. Doctor Zorka. Doctor Zorka. My meteorite. Where is it? Go. We're locked in, we suffocate. No, no one is going to die. He's acting my enemies. Stand back. Science and genius combined. There's nothing that can withstand its power. those men. They sounded like spies, but their faces were strange. Masks. How did they find us? They had the New York them. They couldn't have, unless you gave it to them. Well, they must have stolen it from Mallory. Mm -hmm. In any event, the can't remain here. Stop packing. I'm convinced that Dr. Zorka is still alive, operating from some hidden part of his house. The robot was manipulated by someone. I don't remember Dr. Zorka ever referring to a robot during the time we were associated. But there were many things he kept secret from me. Well, that's for us to find out. They have my meteor, but not all of it. Come. Now, it would mean to destroy my meteorite. That I have to get back first. I'll go with you. No. You stay here. This is work for the Phantom alone. Right, I've got it. We'll be on our way in a minute. Be sure and keep Zucker's lab covered. Yeah, goodbye. Headquarters report that the Phantom Radio is broadcasting this mysterious code again. The federal truck's trying to locate it. If we make it snappy, we can find the truck in the vicinity of State Main Street. You said I could be in on the finish. Sure, I'm hoping this will be it. 
Do you stand by here, Doctor, in case I need you? Surely, and good luck, Bob. Thanks, I could use a little good luck. Point four, Harbor, two one zero, urgent. from where it's coming from. I must finish. Our only chance of getting out of the country is by submarine. The Prince has got a supply one. Okay, make it snappy. Continue. Four, three, Pacific. Captain West. The Phantom radio's in this block somewhere, Captain. The instruments prove that. Going for more men, have them surround the block. We'll search every building in this neighborhood if necessary. Yes. We'll cover as much as we can until help arrives. Jim, you take that seat. Come on, Jim. Two, one, zero. Urgent. Now. We have to get after him. The bank's got the car. Well, one of the other boys just caught here. His car's around the corner. I'll take it. You stay here and try to find the radio location. All right. You better stay here and look out and see if anybody. Let else. me drive in case you have to do any shooting. All right, Lester. Still want to be in on the finish, eh? Even if it is your own.
Isn't that a bear gate across the road? Yes, but it may be a trick to stop us. Keep going. Finish, Captain West. Well, job of driving, Jean. All I could do, I had to drive. We can still catch those birds. Let's go. your hand on this. Been after you for a long time. Come on. Get up. She thinks she's a mass model, too. Nice work, Gene. All right, Jarvis. What'd you do with Zarka's meteorite? We haven't got it. Zarka's trying to it. What am I offered if I talk? Ten years or more in a federal prison, but you don't have to talk. Your partner here told me all I want to know. Get in the car. You drive, Jude. Oh, hurry. Yes, Jim. Throw a ring of men around Zarka's place. Better have them equipped with gas masks. Remember, you're dealing with an invisible force. All right, I'll see you there. See? You've been slow about holding that canoe. Now you can go to town. Warn everybody. You mean I can tell the whole story? That's right, shoot the word. Well, I can tell. This time I think I've got it, Bob. You mean you can make Zorka visible in spite of his devisualizer? That's exactly what I mean. Watch. That's the way Zorka makes himself invisible. Now we will dissolve the aura of invisibility and disclose what it hides. Perkins, the ray gun. May I take this with me? Of course. Now we can deal with Dr. Zerk. Now, another, quickly. Now, I need enough to destroy the world if they force me to it. Listen. Parker? Not yet, Lieutenant. Sergeant, spread your men along this side. Corporal Peters' men will take care of the other side.
now be doing any shooting. I'd be rid of you anyhow. <laughs> I sent four men inside with masks. All right, I'll follow them. Take your mask, soldier. You stay outside. Soldiers are out there. Got to Dr. Mallory at once.
Hey, can you fly a plane? Sure I can. Nobody's flying today. Why not? Government orders. All plans are grounded. Hey, don't you read the papers? Get aboard, quick. Two-seater, eh? Thanks, we'll get right after him. Headquarters says Duff has grabbed the plane. Has another man with him. Must be Mom. Come on, Jim, let's go.
Can I print that? This time? Yes. 